Libby, this past week in Colorado, a father backed over his 23-month-old son, then drove away, all caught on a neighbor's uh, camera. The man said he had been dabbing earlier in the day. The question for Libby and for the panel is how can Vermonters protect Vermont kids? Yeah, well, this speaks to the fact that um, commercialization has not gotten rid of the illegal market at all. It's made the illegal market huge, bigger, bigger. And this is a very sad case because this is a gentleman who um, clearly was impaired, um, not thinking, his judgment was off. Uh, the, the, he admits that he smoked a dab at 7 in the morning. At 10 o'clock, he was seen on this videotape of a neighbor's, I guess they had a webcam outside their yard, that um, he was walking with his two-year-old around the car, and then he backs out over the child. He leaves. He comes back 14 minutes later, picks up the body, puts it in the car, and takes it to the police department or the fire department. And basically, they got an attorney. They incarcerated him, you know, put him in jail. He, he um, got an attorney from Denver who actually said this, and they bonded him out on a personal recognizant bond because he said, well, yes, he's had 14 traffic violations, but he's never had a DUI, so he's not at risk of harming anyone. He just killed somebody. But, I mean, I'm sure he was very distraught. I mean, this is not something he planned on doing. I mean, he was very upset. And some first responder noticed that there was a very large air conditioner. And so they got a warrant and they searched his place and he had a huge illegal grow. He had a, a legal hash oil operation. He was making his own dab. And this is in a place where there's dispensaries everywhere. Um, he didn't have to be doing that, but he was doing it, and it was clearly impairing him. And so now he is in jail, facing other charges. And I mean, I don't, I don't know how you protect people from that, because this has been happening a lot. We have so many illegal seizures in Pueblo, Colorado, um, house right across the street from me was an illegal grow. And, and these aren't necessarily people that are living in the community. These are, we have all kinds of cartels coming into Pueblo, from Chinese cartels, Mexican cartels, um, we have a Russian cartel that are doing illegal grows. And